Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a chit chat, get ready with me um, video. Um, there are some things I just wanted to talk about. Even though I don't mention what it is I'm using, it would always be in the description box so be sure to um, check that out. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about being true to yourself. Cause I find myself at a crossroad where I was struggling with uh, certain things. It's basically about YouTube. I started my YouTube channel in August, but truth being told, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, maybe four years and counting. And the time went by and I never did. And as time progressed, I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm getting older or whatever the case might be, I'm not gonna do it. But I could never get the thought out of my head. It's like, I just had to do it. And I heard it said that I stop thinking about something, it means that you have to do it. So that is what I did. I started my channel. So I've also heard it been said that um, I did not choose this. This chose me. And I've heard it been said, but maybe not totally understanding what it meant until I am actually in the situation where I feel like I tried escaping from beauty. I tried to do other things. I went as far as going to school for culinary. I practiced it for a while and here I am not practicing. Oh, I just broke my mirror. Ended up back in beauty, not even realizing that I am back in beauty. And it is what I love, I love it, you know? So makeup and beauty makes my heart go butter, butter, but like, Really, I love it so much. It gets me so excited. I am always so happy when I'm in beauty and doing stuff in beauty. I am just very artistic and it's just what I love. And this is where I'm at right now in my life. I love beauty and I've been trying to escape it for the longest while. Moving forward, here I am with my YouTube channel and I am doing makeup videos. Someone very, very special to me said to me one time that they would want to be a part of a video for my channel. And I was very surprised. I'm like, really? I didn't expect that. And I said, okay, what is it we're going to do? And I threw some topics out there and I said, we can do this, we can do that. Um, everyone does it. And the, the response, the response was, why do you want to do what everyone else is doing? And I swear that stuck with me because I am here to stand out. I don't want to fit in. You know what I mean? And I found myself fitting. It is nice to see everyone doing all this creative stuff and the cut creases and the dramatic looks, which I love as well because I'm artistic. I'm, I, I'm, I just love my art. I love seeing it, but it speaks to me, but in a different way. Before I actually just jumped into recording videos, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research. I looked at everything, like how to grow your channel, your equipment to use, things like I did a lot. I didn't just want to just go in with not knowing anything. And in doing my research, you always, something I've always heard repeatedly is find your niche. And of course my niche is makeup and beauty, everything beauty. So hearing find your niche, I'm like, I love makeup but everyone is doing makeup. There's so much people out there doing makeup, it be it on Instagram or YouTube or whatever the case might be. So I'm like, how do I stand out doing something that everyone else is doing? And don't get me wrong, you know, I'm a believer that of what is meant for you is meant for you. Um, and when you're passionate about something the way I am, I know I am going to get where I want to because it's not just about that. There's a passion, it's a fire that burns inside me. So I know the passion is going to get me to where it is I want to go. So I'm not worried about how many people, how much people is doing it. It's just that when you have so much people doing the same thing, when you have the bigger accounts and, and people doing way better than you because they've been doing it longer than you in that sense, it's difficult to stand out. After what he said, to me, I'm like, damn, it made me think. And I started to like gather the information about finding your niche. So for me now, it was like, all right, I need to find my niche within my niche. So yes, everyone is doing makeup and everything. And yes, I'm doing makeup, but I need to make what I'm doing different from everyone else. And I'm like, how am I going to do that? 
So I started to search myself. I started to search myself. I started to think, you know? And that is when I realized I was just lost in what everyone else is doing and forgetting what it is I love about makeup. Like I said, I do love a good cut crease and I do love to see talented and artistic people creating stuff. I'm all about creating, but that's not my niche. Makeup is my niche, but dramatic cut creases and all the colors and everything, the way they're applied, it's not my niche. Yes, I love it sometimes, but it is not what I'm about. You know what I mean? I have friends and family who follow me on, on um, who subscribe to my channel. And one of the most uh, things I hear is, um, I don't have time to do all that and if I was to do all that I would never get my makeup done and stuff like that and I'm like you know what I'm not here to make makeup difficult for anyone I don't want anyone to feel like makeup is a difficult thing because it's not difficult anyone can do their face to look beautiful and makeup is all about enhancing your features and not obliterating everything on your skin that you look like a totally different person and if it's one thing I've always heard, I do clients as well, and if it's one thing I always hear is I do not want to look like I am wearing makeup. I just want to look uh, like my skin. I want everything to be natural-esque. But I don't want anyone to think makeup is difficult because it's not. And the way I do my makeup is not the way you have to do your makeup. Um, it's just what I love to do, but you can you may not have my skin type or my skin issues or whatever the case might be and you can just Wear some foundation or some BB cream and everything the point I'm trying to make is I'm all about the effortless looks Because when I look at accounts I gravitate to and the types of look I gravitate to they're always just so effortless Where you use one or two shadows and create a look and you look flawless I love celebrity looks and I gravitate to makeup artists like Scott Barnes and um Beyonce's makeup artists and Rihanna's makeup artists and people who just does beautiful work like look at how Beyonce always looks beautiful or Kim Kardashian or or um, Jennifer Lopez their face is always just so like their skin and that is what I like I like this classic sophisticated effortless looking makeup that is what I gravitate to and I'm like that is what I have to do I have to be true and stay true to what it is I love and I love creating looks that looks like you did not put a lot of effort into it. I have to stick to what it is I love. I have to be true to myself. Besides having a passion for makeup, I have to be true to myself in what it is I want for my channel and what it is I want to put out there. It's very difficult to stand out when you're still trying to fit in. When you feel like, oh, everyone is being dramatic and they're doing this and they're doing cut creases and so that's what I should be doing. And that is when you have to stay true to yourself. Because even if you love something and you're not true to yourself with it, you just gonna be lost in what everyone else is doing and what everyone else around you expects you to be doing and not what it is you are doing and you are going to be lost. Life is about stages and phases. In my 20s, I thought I knew myself. <laughs> I really did. I knew what I like, I knew my favorite colors and you know as you grow older you get to know yourself better. But now I'm in my 30s and I am sure of myself. I am totally sure of myself, but that doesn't mean that you don't get caught up and you don't get lost in, in things that's going on and in all the trendings and things like that. The other thing I want to talk about is actual tutorials. For example, I, I hate the whole studio setting. I hate backdrops and all these things and I felt like I had to do it because that's what everyone is doing. Everyone is doing a backdrop or something. Hence the reason why I am sitting in front of this Christmas tree because I want my videos to look effortless as well. I want to create videos that looks like you're looking at a movie. I hate long videos. I hate having to edit a video and the video is 20 minutes or 16 minutes. I want my videos to be 10 to 12 minutes. And again, I've been doing all that because I feel like that is what everyone is doing. But that is not what I want to do. And I have to, I had to really sit and think and say that is not what I want. I want my videos to look like a mini series, like you're looking at an episode that is 10 minutes on my channel. And I'm not saying that I would not use a backdrop because I may not always be able to create a video that looks like a movie and still make it informative and stuff like that. I still want to do everything that I'm here to do. Educate you, um, 
give you product reviews and things like that. I just want to go about doing it in a different way. I don't want to feel like because I see everyone doing a backdrop, I have to do a backdrop because I see everyone editing the video a certain type of way. I want to do it that way too. I know what I want to do. So in a nutshell, I'm saying is I am like I just started and everything I'm doing, I learned on my own. No one taught me. My, my little brother assists me in something I don't know. I will, I will, you know, text him, call him, whatever the case might be. And he will assist me in the, in the best way that he can. But everything I do, I do on my own. I record my videos on my own. I edit it on my own. I take all my pictures. Everything else is on my own. So now that I'm so sure of what it is and how it is I want my videos to look, I am definitely now have to go to maybe try to find a video video videographer <laughs> so i'm definitely looking into revamping my channel for the new year i don't know when exactly it's gonna happen because the way i want stuff to be done is some high production level shit i don't know when it's gonna happen i have to do my research see what's what but i definitely know that the way I'm making videos now is not the way I always want to make videos. And like I'm saying, I'm not saying I would not sit in a backdrop or whatever the case might be. I just want to do something different. And I want to stick to creating looks that I love and that everyone can, not necessarily everyone, because everyone, that's not the right thing to say. Everyone would not like what I'm doing. Everyone would not like my looks. Everyone would not generate to my type of looks. But as for now, the audience that I have, that is what they want. They want to look nice and effortless. And I'm not here to make you think it's difficult. I want you to watch my videos. So I, that's why I hate long videos. I feel like people don't sit to look at long videos. I will, because I love YouTube. I love TV. I will sit and look at the videos, but everyone don't have the time. But I feel like someone could find 10 to 12 minutes to sit and look at a video and left looking at the video, learning something, and was still entertained by the way the video was edited. And I want to keep your attention. So, um, so I went ahead and zoomed you in just a little bit because I'm about to do my eyes and I am going to use the James Charles and Morphe palette. I feel like everyone at some point in their life go through the struggle of uh, fitting in instead of standing out. We're trying to keep up with the Joneses and what's going on and what's happening right now. Really and truly um, doing that is just not going to get you where you want to be. You cannot get where you want to be being the same. You know what I mean? So that is what I want to do. I want to revamp my channel. Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do that. But I, I feel like I definitely found my niche within my niche. <laughs> and my tagline is changing the world one face at a time. And I really believe that we can change the world one face at a time. Someone who feels beautiful can um, be more confident, be a nicer person to somebody else. Because when you, when you don't feel a certain way, it's difficult to give what it is you don't have. You feel a certain way, you're going to be a certain way to someone. And makeup can do that for people. Makeup can give you the confidence that you need to step out your door or to make you feel beautiful. You don't have to go and use the concealer and the foundations the way I am using. Please bear that in mind. You just have to do what makes what is beautiful to you. Just do what is beautiful to you. I had to emphasize that. So all this, although this was about me and being true to myself, I know that a lot of us struggle with things like that. Being true to yourself instead of like um, being doing you, you're doing what everyone else expects of you. Um, so I hope that this can give someone out there some encouragement as to being true to yourself. And should be told certain things you're using, your fingers does a way better job than a brush. <laughs> but please don't think you don't need a brush, cause you do. <laughs> you do need a brush. Also, if you're having issues with makeup or whatever the case might be, or whatever it is, just comment down below what you would want me to, to maybe go more in depth with, what you want to know better things like that let me know so I can help you and subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss my uploads and comment and like and share it helps because without the engagement I just won't grow I need engagement to grow you know so yeah you're looking at my video it's nice but 
it's nice if you subscribe as well and it's nice if you don't just only subscribe but you comment as well when you like and you share help other people to see what it is i am doing here on youtube let me come close so you can see what i'm talking about do you see this these are the looks that i love i love blown out looks and this is not difficult for anyone to achieve to achieve i basically use three or four colors to do this but you can't tell you know everything is blended in seamlessly and that's what i love that is what i love and that's what i'm gonna stay true to and like i said it's not like if i'm not gonna do a cut crease or something a little more dramatic but even this in its on its own it's a dramatic eye but it's, it's still effortless looking you know so in my next tutorial i am gonna i have been doing my makeup slightly different because my skin is just so dry so in my next tutorial i am gonna um you know just speak more about the makeup than just chit chat but um i really really wanted to to get that out there because it was just very personal to me very dear to me very important to me that i i said my piece where that is concerned the other thing is that i hate i wouldn't say i hate lashes false lashes is just not my favorite thing to wear i i don't like false lashes that much i do wear it but not often and i basically put it on mostly for when i am recording a video for youtube as soon as i'm done doing everything um be before i leave the house most of the times i i pull the lashes off so you know it's not like if i'm not gonna use eyelashes but i prefer mascara i prefer mascara and i don't want to be sending the wrong messages out there i don't want you to feel like you have to wear lashes and that's another thing where i feel like you get caught up in oh everyone is wearing lashes so i have to wear lashes no you have to do you and if you don't like lashes don't wear lashes Whenever I feel like wearing it, I'm going to wear it. When I don't feel like wearing it, I'm not going to wear it. That's just what it is. And today, I am not wearing any lashes. I did pull some lashes out to wear, but I am not wearing it. I'm just going to coat my, my eyes with, with mascara. And that's what I do on, an, on a, a regular basis. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Stay true to yourself. Do what it is you love and not what everyone else loves for you. No, having said that, I'm just going to complete the rest of my face off camera. I'm going to add my lips and stuff. That's a completed look. And I know I did not go too much in details as to the products that I use, but like I said, it will be in the description box. And my next tutorial will be. Every tutorial I do, I always explain a lot. I just wanted to get across, stay true to yourself and be true to yourself. And once you're passionate about something, it's going to come to pass. You just have to stay true just stay true i know we all struggle with staying true at some point in our lives because we so want to fit in but trust me it's best to stand out it's the only way you're gonna grow stand out fitting in is just like you're always just gonna be a part of everything someone will come and not know it's you because you just fit in you want someone to come and pick you and choose you because you're doing something different and that is what i want to do here on youtube i want to do something different and i'm so happy that i found my niche within my niche so i can work towards doing that and bringing greater content and doing videos that i love and things that i am passionate about thank you so much for looking if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads like comment and share it helps me to grow and i really 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 appreciate it i hope you love my christmas tree <laughs> I wasn't going to get a Christmas tree anymore. Anyway, that, that, that's, that's for another tutorial, okay? But that is what it looks like, and I love it. I'm happy with the, the way the tree looks and everything. So thank you so much for looking again, and um, I'll see you again soon.